Hey everybody, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. This is going to be your Thursday morning dose of Delnor Wiggins. I'm down at the south end of the park's beautiful mile-long beach. Got some blue sky this morning. Probably going to see more clouds later this morning. Chance for rain in the afternoon. But right now it is absolutely gorgeous. A bit on the warm side. 81 degrees. Feels like probably 90 already. Heat advisory in effect. Today's feels like high temperatures could get as high as 110 in parts of Southwest Florida. Yikes. The water temperature is 89 degrees. It's up a notch. I had a great walk up here to the park. I started early this morning at 5 o'clock, way before sunrise, down by the Ritz at the south end of Vanderbilt Beach. Saw some beautiful colors. I'm going to share those with you in a minute or two here. You can see my walk along the beach at the park. I think I walked up to about oh, the north end of Area 3. If you watch the replay of part one of this morning's beach walk, you can find that on YouTube and on Facebook. I want to give a quick shout out to our friends at Boat Naples. Great way to see the water in North Naples. Check out their website, BoatNaples.com. Lots of awesome tour options. Dolphins, that's best in the morning. That's usually when the dolphins are more active early in the morning. But give them a call. Ask them about our Thursday evening Southwest Florida television sunset cruises. Those are awesome. Complimentary beer and wine. A Slancha Irish Whiskey Sunset Toast. Of course, a beautiful Southwest Florida sunset. But you have to call to get on board. You're not going to see that on their website. Just call that number on your screen there. BoatNaples.com. Great people. Get over by that water. That water is looking awesome. Really calm right now. It's actually calmer than it was yesterday. And yesterday was calmer than the day before. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Some early morning beach walkers. And look at that incredibly bright and beaming Florida sunshine. Wow. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. See all these clouds up here in the sky? Streaking across the sky. Absolutely incredible colors in them earlier this morning. Check this out. Look at that. Is that not amazing? <laughs> That is definitely a wowza moment in my book. I don't know about yours, but in mine, that is a big time wowza moment. Getting out to the beach early in the morning definitely has its rewards. I wish you were here with me. Look at it now. Glorious, glorious, glorious. I don't have anything new to report about the park itself. Didn't see any new sea turtle nests this morning. I think we're still at 55 nests. Still only two parking lots, only porta potties in the parking lots. That's it for facilities. I know, people are getting antsy. They want their park back, but we still got this gorgeous mile long stretch of beach to enjoy. So come out here and make the best of it. Get your toes in the sand, your toes in the water. Take that mile walk up to Wiggins Pass. It's good for you. Get out early before it gets too hot. Hey, follow Friends of Delnor Wiggins Pass State Park on Facebook if you want to keep up with what's going on here. 
They'll give you the scoop. Friends of Del Norwegian's past state park. Great people. Also, maybe join friends and think about becoming a volunteer. That'd be sweet. They're always looking for volunteers here. Even though the park's not fully reopened, there's plenty of chores that need to be done. So if you like the outdoors, you can kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> Hang out at the beach and help the park. All right, my friends, that's going to do it for our Thursday morning dose of Del Norwegans. Thanks for allowing me into your lives and onto your screens. I do appreciate that. Again, hit that share button. And until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Tally-ho, everyone. Tally-ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.